I'm Katie Allen and I'm here with John Yeager who's a beef cattle scientist for K-State Research and Extension and we're talking about early calf weaning and really I want to start off if you could just explain what is defined as early calf weaning. Really early weaning is anything that is less than what is conventional uh, 180 to 210 days so anything less than that would be early weaning. Um, it could be as early as 90 days or up to 170 days. And you said there's some benefits to the cow in regard to early weaning. Let's talk about those nutritional benefits. What, what we've seen the last several years um, when we've early weaned due to drought is that cows are coming into the winter in much better condition than when we traditionally weaned. So if we can keep that body condition on the cow coming into the winter, then we can hopefully save some supplemental feed costs uh, trying to keep the cow in, in condition or putting condition on her during the winter months. And how have the calves fared in your research um, when they've been weaned early? Um, in, our, in our trials looking at conventional versus early weaned calves, they've had very similar performance and the incidence of illness has been very comparable between the early weaned and conventionally weaned calves. What kind of measures have you taken um, you know, in condensing the space for the calves and, and other things that you've done to help with early weaning? Um, really it works with early weaning or conventional but it, it seems especially beneficial to early weaned calves to reduce your pen size, maybe sp split your pens in half, hopefully have that uh, division fence close to where the water trough is uh, so they encounter that water trough as, as they walk the fence after weaning and, and also they will encounter the feed bunk more often when they're circling the pen and hopefully begin eating quicker. Uh, the key really seems in both uh, success of conventionally weaned as well as early weaned calves to get those calves eating as quickly as possible following weaning. What in terms of feed and supplements do you recommend for producers to keep in mind for the calves? Well, we, we really need, especially with early weaned calves, a very nutrient-dense feedstuff, which is very different than what they've been consuming while they've been on pasture. So the feedstuffs are going to be novel, um, but it needs to be highly palatable. If we can keep the, the moisture at 20 to 30 percent, the protein at, at uh, 16 to 18 percent, and have a fairly nutrient-dense uh, diet in front of those calves. It seems like they'll, once they encounter it and start eating it, um, they'll, they'll do much better than if, if we aren't really paying attention to the diet. Uh, another key that we have found is, is placing some loose uh, hay, long stem hay, on top of their, their diet in the bunk for the first three days and then after three days put it on the bottom and then put their diet on top. So initially they, they eat that hay, then they encounter their diet and they become familiar with it. Then later they have to kind of nose through the feed to, to get down to that hay that they're more familiar with. In times of a drought, producers have thought about early weaning for sure, but even moving on past that, um, early weaning you think is a great idea. What kind of you know, research has really shown that and what you've done um, to consider early weaning for producers who may not have considered it before? I, I, I would stress that, that uh, we don't have to think of early, early weaning, but just anything less than 180 days I think is going to be extremely beneficial to the, to the producer's bottom line. Um, if we can keep body condition on our cows or maybe have them come in uh, to winter in a higher body condition than what they typically do, it's really going to cut our supplemental feed costs. It takes a lot of feed to put weight and body condition on a cow. If we can save that and feed it to a calf, a calf is smaller, requires less feed, and they're more highly efficient than a mature cow. And so they put the pounds on quicker. And so economically, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, our initial research has shown that, that our cows are coming into winter in better body condition. Our uh, subsequent pregnancy rates are higher the following year and, and uh, incidence of illness has remained low and so it, it seems to be working and hopefully it's something that will be more widely adopted. 
And another thing um, you mentioned too, it's talking about some future research and putting the calves in different environments immediately. So putting them on grass versus putting them in the dry lot. Can you talk about that research and what you hope to find with that? Well, the, this year, uh, these calves behind us were, were early weaned at 135 days of age. They were divided in half and either placed on, on grass pastures in the Flint Hills or brought here into dry lot. And, and the thought is if, if we can cheapen up the, the weaning period and, and those first 60 days that gets us closer to a traditional weaning time, that, that it will make it more attractive to, to producers. Um, the caveat is feed quality during that portion of the year is, is declining and on pastures and so it may not be an, a nutrient dense enough package for those calves grazing pastures uh, and uh, we'll follow these calves through to harvest and see uh, what the total economic package look like bet between the two systems. Any other future research in this area that you're working on? Uh, we're going to continue uh, early weaning to try to pinpoint maybe the, the, the most economically efficient time to early wean calves, um, both in terms of cow performance as well as, as the early wean calf performance. And then uh, potentially we're, we're going to follow that up with maybe some intensive early stocking of beef cows instead of stocker steers and, and by early weaning and then removing our opens earlier in the summer um, we can end up with more cows per acre on, on, on a set number of acres in a pasture. Any other recommendations for producers or any other information about early weaning that you wanted to add? Um, I think it's it's important whether you're conventionally weaning or early weaning it, it still requires good management of these wean calves and an early wean calf uh, you maybe need to be a little more attentive but really they're the same animal just younger and smaller and so uh, a lot of our management techniques are the same as, as for a conventionally weaned calf. Great. Well, good information on early weaning from John Yeager. He's a beef scientist here in Hayes. I'm Katie Allen reporting for K-State Research and Extension.